This question is from 2009 AP Physics B and now this uh, subject is covered or this topic is covered in uh, AP Physics 2. Um, so this would be for the light waves um, and optics. So let's look at this question. A wide beam of light is incident normal to the surface of the uniform oil film. An observer looking down at the film sees green light that has maximum intensity at a wavelength in its given 5.2 10 to the negative 7 meters. The index of refraction of the oil is 1.7. Calculate the speed at which the light travels within the film. So I'm gonna do every, um, every answer in different colors. So for A, I have index of refraction that is given for oil, and that is the speed of light over the speed in the medium, which is oil. So if you want to find the speed of light in the medium, that would be speed of light divided by the index of refraction that they give you. So the velocity at um, which light is going to travel in oil is equal to 310 to the 8. That's the velocity of um, light in the vacuum. Divide by the index of refraction, which they give you 1.7. And that will be equal to 1.675, 10 to the 8 meters per second. And for the next question, they ask you to calculate the wavelength of the green light within the film. So we know that the frequency of this um, light will depend on the source and it doesn't change. So the frequency in the vacuum is equal to the frequency in the medium. And the frequency is equal to on the left side, the speed of light over the wavelength in the vacuum. And on the right side, it is the velocity of the um, in the medium over the wavelength in the medium. They ask you to find the um, wavelength in the medium. So the wavelength in the medium is going to be equal to the wavelength in the vacuum times the velocity that we just found in the medium divided by the speed of light. So if I plug in the numbers, I have the wavelength in oil is equal to wavelength that they give me in vacuum, which is 5.2, 10 to the negative 7, times the velocity in the medium that we just found. And that one is... 1.675, 1.675, 10 to the 8, and all of that divided by the velocity of light in uh, speed of light, which is um, 310 to the 8. And that will give me the wavelength in the medium equals to 2.9. 10 to the negative 7 meters. For the next question, they ask you to calculate the, mis the minimum possible thickness of the film. So it is um, constructive interference. So if I have the thin film um, and this is oil, then the light that is reaching the oil will refract and reflect at the same time. So we're going to look at the light that is refracting and reflecting. So the light that is reflecting, uh, let me maybe do this in different color. So the light that is reflecting is going to be having 180 degree shift. Um, so if the wave was coming this way, the wave that is reflected is going to go in the opposite shift, shifted uh, phase. And then again, when it reaches to the air, so here is air 
and again air. You have this 180 degree shift when the wave goes from um, rarer medium to thicker medium. So when it reaches the air, it doesn't um, have this shift when it, so again, some of the waves will go um, again straight, um, which is refracted again, and some of the wave is gonna be reflected up as well. So the one that is reflected up um, is gonna be um, not sh uh, 180 degrees shifted. So I'm gonna write zero degrees shifted. And if it is zero degrees shifted, then I will have a constructive interference. Constructive interference when two wave lights, uh, light waves, the one that is reflected first and the one that is reflected, reflected next in the same phase. So I will only have the same uh, phase for them for one that is was reflected with a phase shift and the one that was reflected without phase shift only if twice the distance that it travels in the medium or in the oil so it has to be uh, twice the thickness of the medium must be equal to um, one half of the wavelength at least the wavelength in the medium um, so that means when the one full one half of the wavelength is coming this way when it reflects is going to be in the same phase shift so if they are in the same phase shift um, and the other the first one was reflected um, inverted they will meet at the same phase shift um, and um, have will be in the same phase so if they're in the same phase they don't cancel each other and you will be able to see them so this would be my formula the actual formula is actually 2d 2d equals to m plus one half uh, lambda in the medium but they say medium minimum so um m is equal to zero for the next one it would be one and then two and three and so on but I need the minimum, so my M is equal to zero. So now I can calculate the thickness. So the thickness of the oil is gonna be equal to one quarter of the wavelength that we found in the medium. So the wavelength um, in the medium was equal to, so let me rewrite this again. So I would have that one is equal to one quarter and the wavelength in the medium we found is 2.9 10 to the negative 7. So in this case, the thickness of film should be equal to, or the minimum thickness of film should be equal to 0.725. So let's do it in the same color. So that would be 0.725 10 to the negative 7 meters. I'm going to attach the link to this video where you can watch more explanation on how um, the waves refract and reflect uh, coming from the rarer medium to the thicker medium. So please watch that one. It's very conceptual and worth uh, watching. So you will understand more why we use 2D is equal to M plus one half lambda in the medium. And also I have lessons that I've done on this topic. I'm gonna also attach the video to this video uh, where you can watch me teaching uh, this concept to my students. Now for this last question, they say the oil film now rests on a thick slab of glass with index of refraction 1.4. So the index of refraction is still less than the index of refraction of the oil. So that means if um, this oil, um, when the light passes through the oil, when it refracts, it's gonna be in the same phase as it is coming in. So um, the same as if it was an air. As shown in the figure below, a light ray is incident on the film at the angle shown. On the figure sketch a path, the path of the refracted light ray that passes through the film and the glass slab and exits into the air. Clearly show 
any bending of the ray at each interface. Um, you are not expected to calculate the sizes of any of the angles. So let's look at each interface and um, or the bending of the lights. So the incident ray, let's say this is your incident ray, the refracted ray, ray should be less than the incident ray because the oil is thicker. So I'm gonna have it like this and your refracted angle is less than um, the one that is coming the incident angle. And then for the next one, because the glass is um, not as thick as the oil, then the um, the light is gonna go not, so the angle of refraction between the oil and the glass is gonna be uh, larger than the one that is incident. So this would be the angle that was incident, the same as the one that the first one is refracted. So um, for this one, this angle is a little bit more, but it is not the same as the one that it was incident at the beginning. So if this is theta one um, and this is theta two, your theta three is between theta two and theta one, but it's not as big as theta one yet. So then the, ra the ray will continue going in this medium until it reaches the glass uh, air connection and then at this point your ray when it exits should have exactly the same angle as it was coming into the glass so at this point the ray would exit at the angle so this angle i'm gonna call it four so this angle four is the same one as the one um, that was at the beginning when the ray just entered the oil at the beginning. And that is all I have for this 2009 AP Physics B FRQ question related to the uh, light waves. And um, thank you for watching. If you like, subs uh, subscribe, and I will see you in my next videos.